little document looks like this. This document is something Jim Bottom with Louisville's Emergency Services Department cherishes more than ever, following this devastation just hours away. It's heartbreaking. This document is proof that Jefferson County has been one of about 53 counties in Kentucky that meet a certain threshold when it comes to being prepared for a storm. That's one of the ways that you can save lives, is to be aware of inclement weather. Jefferson County is part of the 44% of Kentucky counties certified by the National Weather Service as being storm ready. It's a voluntary designation reflecting preparedness in case of severe weather. Bottom says there are no yeah, state or federal there. requirements. It's just a matter of going that next step to ask the National Weather Service for that designation. Among their guidelines, a 24 hour emergency operations center, regular emergency exercises, and more than one way to alert the public about warnings. If you have a cell phone, Bottom urges you install an app called Smart 911. It will notify you of hazard materials releases and other uh, community hazards uh, that may pop up as well. And it's also important to know that storm ready doesn't mean storm proof. Because the weather can be unpredictable, says Ronald Steve, a meteorologist with the National Weather Service. One of the most important lessons learned from this tragedy, he says, is this. Make sure you have multiple ways to get storm warnings 24 hours a day, seven days a week. Now, out of the 10 counties with confirmed fatalities following the recent tornado, four are not certified by the National Weather Service as storm ready, including Graves County. That's the county where the most people died. But it's important to note that just because a county doesn't have the certification doesn't mean they're not prepared. To check if your area is certified as storm ready, you can find more information at whas11.com. For Focus, I'm Paula Bassan, on your side.